Hi, this is Pam Coughlin, Mother Reader, welcoming you to the first day of the rest of your life of a lifetime of reading. Hi, I'm Jen Robinson from Jen Robinson Book Page, and I promote a lifetime of reading. Hello. Hi, I'm Melissa Fox, and I'm raising my children with the hopes that they'll have a lifetime of reading. Hi, I'm Liz Burns from a chair, a fireplace, and a tea cozy. And a lifetime of reading is important to me because reading is what makes life wonderful. It lets you explore things that you otherwise wouldn't. It lets you find out about different people and experiences that you wouldn't have. And the only way it can give you is, give that to you is in a book. And so open a book and start your lifetime of reading today. Karen Trelucky from Literate Lives, and I am happy that I've enjoyed a lifetime of reading, and I can't wait to share it with many students for years to come. Hi, I'm Bill from Literate Lives. My lifetime of reading started when I walked to the library. Every Monday we got a stack of books, and now my lifetime of reading has taken me into the library, where I get to share them with kids every day. Hi, I'm Sarah Lewis Holmes, and I blog at Read, Write, Believe, and a lifetime of reading is what made me a writer. Hi, I'm Trisha Storhan. I blog at the Miss Rumpy as Effect, and I think a lifetime of reading is a gift every child should have. Hello, my name is Olgi Gary, and I manage a nonprofit educational corporation, Children Come First, at childrencomefirst.com. And uh, my love of reading, a lifetime of reading, defines who I am. As a little girl growing up in Cuba, books were my window into the what is, into the impossible. And my dream was, especially after Castro came in, to live that island and come to the United States, a place of freedom, where anybody can be anything they dream to be. Books gave me the hope. Hi, I'm Julie Dostas, and I grew up with books and spend a lifetime reading.